Alright, welcome back to your third tutorial on how to create PDF documents. And this one is going to be a little more theoretical. So we're going to talk about how to change the document sizes. Which is not too exciting, I know, but it comes in quite handy sometimes. So make sure that you know how to do that. So to change the document sizes, we need to create a rectangle. And so for the rectangle, we have to import it at first. And I think you can guess in which package it is. So just go ahead and type in import com dot itext pdf dot text dot rectangle. So that's going to import the rectangle for us. And then right below the document, we just create one. So we say rectangle rect equals to new rectangle and as a parameter it asks for two floats so two numbers with digits and the first float is going to consist the amount of uh, points for the width and the second number is going to see how high the document has to be so I'll just type in that it should be 100 wide and maybe 200 high. And then of course we have to set the document size to the rectangle. So I'll just say document dot set page size. And as a parameter it asks for a rectangle and of course we have our rectangle. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Oh, well, <laughs> that's pretty narrow. So, the reason for that, let's see. Uh, so if you're wondering what that number is, those numbers are called user units. And so, if you want to measure in inches, you, ha or you have to know that 72 user units are one inch. So if you type in 72 for the width, it's going to be one inch wide. And so if you want it, for instance, to be four inches wide, we just have to multiply 70 by four, which is 72, 44, 288. And then it's going to create a document for us that's going to be four inches wide. So that's how you create that. And if you're, for instance, uh, European and uh, you calculate with uh, centimeters, there's a way to convert the centimeters into points. So let's import the utilities class and then I'll show you wh what you can do with it. So just type in import com dot itext pdf dot text dot utilities and then with the utilities you can convert basically those those uh, numbers into centimeters and the other way around so we can say utilities dot and then you can already see what we can do there so we can say inches to millimeters inches to points uh, millimeters to inches and millimeters to points. So we want millimeters to points. And let's make it, uh, let's say, 10 centimeters wide. So it has to be 100 millimeters. And then also change the change the height of the document to, let's say, two centimeter, uh, 20 centimeters. So let's run that and see what it looks like. Wow, that's awesome. So that's how you convert that stuff. Uh, but sometimes you don't want to have the to type in those numbers. Sometimes you want to have uh, pre-made uh, shapes. So you know, like A4 paper or the letter-sized paper. So if you just to create a document like that, I think it is going to create a an A4 paper. So 
a page in the size of A4, which you would normally find in Europe. And if you want to have it letter sized, we have to import another class from the uh, text package, and it's called the page size. And the page size al already tells that it already brings you the page sizes you might want to have. So you can say page size dot and then I'll just go for the letter size and okay I'll just delete the utilities there then if we run that it's going to create a new document with a letter sized paper and if you want to have it landscape no problem you just can say page size dot letter dot rotate and then the rotate method is going to rotate the document by 90 degrees well just the shape of the document not the text itself so that's how you create a landscape paper and I think that's all you c I can say to sizes right now of course if you want to have pre-made uh, page sizes you can you don't have to create an extra rectangle for that you can just do it right in that method that says uh, document that set the page size and then just say uh, page size dot uh, let's say a6 then let's rotate that so you can do that as well and that works just as fine and I think that's all I have to say about page sizes. Comes in handy sometimes if you want to create different shapes of documents. And of course, always important to know how to do that. So other than that, I think there's not much more to add. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon again. Bye.